so we are installing this for a farm here in Ketu. This is a water treatment plant and he's the expert. Come right. He's the expert in charge. This is Mr. Aziz, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're installing this to correct some parameters of the water. The pH of the water is acidic and then we have some bacterial loads in the water that we're also going to correct. So it's here to install the pipe connection for this treatment and then every other thing we're going to be showing you as we proceed. So this is the farm. We have our tanks here. We have about 12 tanks. Um, capacity of 4,000 liters of water each. So this is where we are. As you can see there we have the electrical guys installing the wiring for lights and every other thing. So everybody is actually working to get what an amazing result. We are all working to for a common goal, right? So that is that. We have our archery there. It's down there. We're still, you know, preparing the place for setup of the tanks and every other thing. So stay tuned. We we'll have more and more for you. So if you want to set up, you can always reach out. We have a team of amazing, experienced people, professionals who would help you with actualize that dream of setting up your fish farm. And this is one, as you can see. In another few weeks from now, it's not going to be like this. Everything is going to be rolling. Operation is going to be, you know, rolling by then. This is our hatchery, it's a mini hatchery. As you can see, we already raised the platform for the hatching tanks. So we're going to have about six here. It's just for one person to walk in. So this is a one person hatchery. We're going to have one there, one here, one here, one here, and then here. So work is in progress. So, 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 we are at the hatchery. This is the hatchery. The tanks are already set up, and um, we have the water inlet, the shower system, as you can see. Right? So, we have that. We have five tanks here. Here, we have the spawning net, some come closer, or the caca band, right? So, this is the caca band. For this is a treatment water to clean, and then this is just it for the hatchery. This is where we're going to be hatching our fish, and then we're going to transfer them after you know two weeks, maximum three weeks, to one of the tanks outside. This is remind me your name, I forgot it. Ayo, okay, this is Ayo, an amazing person. A catfish farmer. We have our boot stocks here. These are the boot stocks. These are male boot stocks. So we decided to split them this today, right? So we're splitting them because you know male fish or males generally they like to you know take territory. So we have to do that splitting so we don't have them fighting and you know injuring themselves so that is it these are our tanks for stocking so we're going to be stocking um five thousand in total five thousand capacity so that is what we are going to be working with everybody is here actually and then we're trying to make this a success so i'll keep on updating you on the progress of what we have going on here So, aside from preparing your ponds, right, you need to also plan for feeding even before stocking. And this is why budget is important. 
you have to have a budget for everything oh i want to stock 1000 fish then you should have already calculated the quantity of feed you're going to need the cost of the feed and every other thing don't be like mr felix who stocked 50,000 catfish and after one month he could not afford to feed them why did this happen well mr felix did not have a budget before starting his fish farm he doesn't know the total cost of feed he does not know the total quantity he is going to require to take them to the stage he wants to take them to if you don't want to be like mr felix then send me a message now on whatsapp my numbers will be on the screen so as to get your feeding budget right okay i'll be waiting for your message who knows you might be lucky to enjoy some of our discount this month Another thing to consider before setting up is power. So for this farm we are going to be using solar and also generator and hopefully you know electricity is stable so we have solar generator and the PHCN to rely on to help us power our pumping machine our air compressor and every other machines that we are going to be using for production it's time to stock our ponds are ready our water is right so ideally when you're bringing in fish seeds into your farm from another farm always ensure that you run a salt bath or you prepare a salt dip for them why is this important this process is very important so you can be able to kill any form of bacteria that your fish might be coming with from the farm you bought them from so ensure you do this to always what give your fish a good head start okay so now let's talk our fish so when you're stocking you have to ensure you don't just dump your fish into the pond you have to allow them swim into the water gradually okay that's the way they are introduced into the water without feeling so much shock so we are done stocking and as you can see the fish are so happy to be in their new home why are they happy to be here it's because the water is right so get your water treated if it needs to get treatment okay so it's 24 hours after stocking and we are about to feed them so here we are mixing their feed with an anti-stress right to give them that extra boost you know they've gone through the stress of 
stuck in the stress of movement from where we got them down to the farm so this is basically to give them you know extra boosts extra vitamins so as to ensure they are fine so that is what we are doing here we are mixing the feed with our anti-stress So this is our air compressor, it's a two horsepower air compressor that we are going to be using to, you know, pump air into the ponds for the fish because they need enough dissolved oxygen to survive, right? So we are trying as much as possible to do all that we can, to do all that we can. We have the hose that is going to pass the air, it's up here. We are still connecting all that, so it's going to pass into each of the ponds, one on the left, one on the right. So So guys, we have here our water treatment plant to help us correct the water parameters. Remember we have the chemical parameters, the biological and the physical parameters. So this is basically to correct the chemical parameters of the water. Chemical parameters like your pH, the total hardness of the water, the nitrates, the nitrites, and so many other things that needs to be corrected. And that is why it is very important to test your water before going into fish farming. You can't just start fish farm blindly because your water is pure white or clear. Does not mean it's fit for fish farming. So if you're having issues with your water, chemical wise, and then there are some things that has to be corrected, this is going to help you what fix all that. This is a complete treatment tank for issues with chemical parameters in your water okay so if you need to set something up like this you can hit me up right my number is going to be on the screen we can help you install something like this on your farm so that is all about it we are ready to start our work the farm is you know ready for production we stock our juveniles and every other thing is in our hands what is left management right so so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two right for those who would want to set up their fish farm we are here for you don't you know go far i'm here for you to help you actualize that dream of having a working system when it comes to fish farm right so hit me up my number is going to be on the screen now we help you to set up your hatchery your grow out your treatment plant and everything that has to do with management okay so make sure you hit us up and also for the processing sector right this is our smoking king so just to tell you that we are doing it what it's an end-to-end -end process okay so this is our smoking king here it's still covered we are going to set that up in the smoking king area 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section, share this to your family and friends who you know are intending to start a fish farm, okay? If you see my face for the first time, I'm Shikemi Olabise, the farm lady. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe button, join the family and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.